the next property we can look at is time reversal. So, if x of n has z transform x of z, ah, yes question. Yeah, so what you can do that is a good question. So, you need to exploit the fact that x of z equals x star of z star, right. So, one fallout of this uh, x of z being equal to x star of z star. So, if uh, z were real, Uh, z star will be the same as z. So, for real z x of z will be the same as x star of z for a real sequence x of n because x of z equals x star of z star when the uh, variable z is real you can conclude that the transform also is real. So, that is not surprising because um, if you look at this just from the plain definition this is x of n times z to the minus n summed up over all n. If x of n were real and if z also were real the quantity has to be real. So, that is another way of seeing this. So, these are some of the inferences can that can be drawn from the z transform, but typically this property is exploited in the case of DTFT for real valued sequences, where half the information is enough. So, this is uh, z inverse and and proof again is pretty straightforward here. All you need to do is and then replace n by minus n and relabel this one. So, this becomes x of n z to the n, but really this is z to the n can be written as z inverse power minus n because you want it of the form the complex variable to the minus n. So, this is really x of z inverse and you want r 1 less than this. Ah, let me see if I got that right. So, we can see whether I made an error there. So, this is what? So, if you look at this, so this is r 1 less than 1 by mod z correct. Therefore, this implies you have uh, so, so this is mod z less than 1 by r 1. So, so oh I should have this as, so this is what you meant? Yeah, so this should be 1 by r 2 correct. Yeah. 1 by r 1, did I get it right now? Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, yeah, the r o c should always be of the form mod z between two quantities, you are right. Therefore, this is now 1 by r 2 less than mod z less than 1 by r 1. 
okay now it's correct right yeah and again we can use this property uh, to derive this transform we know that a to the n u of n is 1 by 1 minus a z inverse mod z greater than mod a and we also know that minus a to the n u of minus n minus 1 is 1 by 1 minus a z inverse mod z less than mod a. So, we will derive the second transform starting from the first using the time reversal property. So, a to the n u n has 1 by 1 minus a z inverse mod z greater than this. Therefore, if you replace n by minus n you have u of minus n. So, this is 1 by 1 minus a z and this is mod z less than 1 over mod a. Now, let us multiply numerator and denominator by minus a inverse z inverse. Therefore, this becomes minus a inverse z inverse and this is 1 minus a inverse z inverse. All I have done is multiplied numerator and denominator by minus a inverse z inverse. So, this is mod z less than 1 over mod a which I have written as mod a inverse. Now, I have a factor z inverse in the transform, I want to get rid of that. To get rid of that, I need to multiply by z. If I multiply in the transform domain by z, I can get rid of this z inverse factor. But if I multiply the transform domain by z in the time domain, I have to replace wherever n is there, I have to replace n by uh, not n minus 1 you are multiplying by z, you have to replace n by n plus 1. Okay. Therefore, I have minus a to the wherever n is there, I am going to replace n by n plus 1 and this is u of n plus 1. Now, I can get rid of this And now I can cancel. Oh, sorry. I can cancel one a inverse factor, and take this minus sign to the other side. Therefore, this becomes minus a to the minus n u of minus n minus one. So I have taken this minus sign to the other side. I have cancelled one a inverse. So therefore, this is one by 1 minus a inverse z inverse mod z less than mod a inverse. So, now let a inverse equal to b therefore, this becomes minus b to the n u of minus n minus 1 and this is nothing but 1 by 1 minus b z inverse with mod z less than mod b. So, again we have used properties to derive the transform of one starting from the transform of the other. Note that time reversal causes a causal sequence to become anti causal and vice versa. If x of n were causal, x of minus n is anti causal. And 
also notice this difference between these two properties you had minus 1 to the n x of n this is x of minus z whereas x of minus n is x of z inverse. And uh, time reversal causes a causal sequence to become anti causal and vice versa. Uh, 